My name is Chester Coe. I'm a pediatrologist here at Texas Children's. One of my roles will be actually as director of the pediatric uh, robotic surgery program. The Da Vinci robot is an amazing piece of technology. The advantage of the Da Vinci robot is that it gives me the ability to do, use my hands as if I'm using my actual hands, except that now the robot's exactly doing exactly this. It really gives, at least for pediatric urologists and pediatric surgical specialists, the ability to do surgeries that we commonly do in an open manner, but we now can do mostly in a middle and invasive manner, or basic surgery through tiny keyhole incisions, and it tends to allow children to go home uh, faster, they want to spend as many days in the hospital. It allows parents to get back to work faster because uh, their child is getting back to their regular activities faster than they would with open surgery. In addition, we've also shown that uh, they tend to use less pain medication requirements and also they have smaller incisions and parents usually don't like to see big incisions on their children. So the first patient was a five-year-old boy who had a blockage in his kidney. Uh, we also call that hydronephrosis, or water in the kidney, which actually is urine in the kidney that couldn't pass through. Uh, he developed abdominal pain on multiple occasions, requiring emergency room visits as well as doctor's visits. And by performing the surgery, it's what we call a robotic podoplasty, where we remove the block section and put the two ends back together. Urine is now more easily drained from the kidney, and he should avoid those episodes of pain as well as allow the kidney to work the way we want it to, which is work well to filter the blood, as opposed to having a kidney that may eventually stop working. First surgery yesterday went very well. The fact that uh, everything went on time and according to schedule, with on-time starts, adherence to the scheduled case times, and no complications, you couldn't ask for a better outcome. So we had multiple surgeons in the room, as well as other members of the surgery team and the operating room team. In addition, the case was able to be transmitted to the conference room for those who also want to come as well. Definitely a lot of interest. Uh, staff as well as physicians and nurses were all coming by the room, looking the window, peering and see what this, what is an expensive piece of equipment, but also a very worthwhile and, need, and needed one. It definitely feels real cool. I mean, you're basically at a console that is away from the table, so away from the patient, but you have the controls of robotic hands that are really working like your own hands. We can see better because they have the 3D visualization. We're also seeing 10 times magnification, so we're seeing a lot closer and better visualization of what's there as opposed to what the other equipment that we may have. It's better for the surgeon, you know, with other traditional types of surgeries, we're either standing, we're also holding instruments and it causes shoulder strain. Those type of things that are really taken away by seeing at the console. So it's better for the patient, it's better for the surgeon, and we're trying to show it's also better for the hospital as well. The fact that I've done many surgeries already and have come here to develop the program, we are able to basically provide what it, we consider to be really a standard of care here that uh, may not be achieved at other places. So with any new technology, there's always going to be a learning curve. I think the advantage of the robotic surgery, because we're doing surgery very similar to how we do surgery that we're already trained in via the open technique, we can do now using the robot. People think that there's like the Jetsons and the robots are doing everything as if they were an actual person themselves, and that doesn't happen with the, with the robot. It is a master-slave robot, which means all the controls are 100% controlled by the surgeon, so the robot won't do anything that the surgeon doesn't want it to. We find that uh, it's a safe, reliable system. We will work with the Texas Children's Hospital Surgical Outcomes and Impact Service to closely follow these patients and to really publish our outcomes as well as uh, perform changes and adaptations to our usual manner of care to improve upon it to really try to get the best care that we can. Mm -hmm.